How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Homie G, and I'm back. All right, so this is another serious lesson on what I see a lot of with young people. So, and actually even adults. So today we're gonna to talk about problems. Now, you got problems, I got problems, everybody and their mom got problems, right? So we all know that problems are a part of life. And actually being able to solve problems um, creatively and being solutions oriented, uh, meaning you always think about solutions first, um, instead of complaining about problems constantly, uh, makes you more um, marketable. So it makes you more um, uh, prone to becoming successful in the future. Uh, problem solving is a huge skill. But as a young person, uh, you probably haven't yet developed some of those skills. And in fact, many of you, what I see, and the reason for this video is I see that a lot of you let your problems define you. They, you let them define who you are as a person. So, so basically what I like to say uh, to my students is that um, you're letting your problems choose you instead of you choosing your problems. You can't really choose your problems. Um, they come about by, by circumstance, they happen, but your problems can choose you. And what I mean by that is if you kind of internalize an identity of having problems all the time and you're constantly focusing on the life that is your problems, um, you're basically allowing your problems to choose you. You become the chosen one. Okay, so you're a walking, talking problem. Okay, you, you, you basically have a sufferer mentality, mentality and identity, a victim's mentality and identity, and you're constantly just a walking, talking bag of problems. And nobody likes to uh, be around a person like that because they're most of the time negative, most of the time complain a lot, and, um, and then they're just in general not very positive people. So, um, I want to give you uh, another perspective on, perspective on problems. And you may have already heard this, that's fine. Uh, so one of it is that um, you want to be able to think of your problems as opportunities. Okay? So first, being positive about whatever happens in your life. So positive mental attitude. Repeat that to yourself all the time. Have a positive mental attitude about life and about things that come about. And then being solutions oriented. So uh, one of the exercises I'm going to recommend right now is called uh, my problems and the opportunities they present. It's columns, two columns basically. And you're going to define your problem here on the left side. So for example, I have two problems already here defined for you. Uh, so say you have some deep, deep problems like my father left us. Oh man. That is tough, right? Let's say your father left you when you guys were uh, little and you're feeling that, you know, you, you've allowed that sentiment that your father may have left you because you're not worthy or whatever, fester in you. And now um, it's kind of grown into its own demon inside of you and it bothers you and it makes you cry sometimes, whatever, it makes you feel bad. It's a big problem. So instead of uh, what being a walking, talking problem with respect to that one individual problem, what can you do? Well, here's the opportunity I can offer you. And there's many more, but this is just one. How about finding a positive male role model or a female role model who can be your mentor, right? So that person will replace uh, that, that relationship you could have had with your father and mentor you uh, for several years, maybe your re the rest of your life. So go out there, find someone who can be a mentor um, and, and have one because it's important to have a mentor in your life. So that's one problem. What about another deep problem? Like my mom hates me. Okay, so if your mom hates you, what can you do? How can you turn that into an opportunity? And how can you uh, release that demon of the feeling that it gives you, right? Um, so learn about forgiveness, okay? Read uh, books on forgiving and, um, and forgiving the people you love. And work on accepting yourself. 
big, big thing. If you do not accept who you are, if you don't love yourself, you're never going to be able to love someone else. Okay? So you have to learn to accept who you are and have a positive self-image about yourself. Okay? There's other ways that uh, also you can uh, keep your problems from choosing you, from basically defining your identity. Uh, number one, I'm going to get a lot of these from my, from my book, Success for Minorities, uh, Teens and Their Friends. Um, but basically, you can stay busy, uh, always stay busy. That helps you keep your problems at bay. Um, you can uh, write down your problems, like I said, in the two columns, and then, and then and find, uh, basically, opportunities that come about from those problems. Meditation is a healthy practice. Uh, accept your situation. Uh, accept who you are. Love yourself. Volunteer at places where there's the poor, like soup kitchens. That'll make you feel good about yourself and about your problems. You'll be like, oh, wow, th those are problems, right? When you see homeless people with clothes that, you know, aren't, aren't clean or whatever, now you're going to say, okay, th those are problems. So it puts things into perspective. Uh, keep a journal of your problems and how you solve them, um, how you became solutions oriented and solve those problems. And be grateful because your problems do present opportunities and there's financial problems too for example i had some financial problems growing up and i got a job because of it out of sheer necessity working as a as a teen and um so i solved my problem so my little homies this has been more talk on uh what to do in the event that your life uh ever comes across some problems and it will um, but always remember to stay positive, be solutions oriented, define that problem, figure out how to solve it, and figure out what opportunities they bring to you. But whatever you do, do not let them define who you are. Stay you, accept yourself, and love yourself, and I'm out.